Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata guys. Let's say you have a Hyundai Sonata, you have traction control and ABS light on guys or it could be EPS light, that's the uh, stability program as well. We will explain the top three things that can trigger traction control and ABS light on Hyundai Sonata. Make sure you stay until the end. It could be any of those things. Those are the most popular ones that we see here at the shop and we're going to explain how we can fix that and how we can scan the system, what computer we use and all that stuff will be shared in this video today. So this should actually work on Hyundai Sonata generation from year 2010 all the way to year 2015 guys. Also uh, let me introduce you quick to the channel. If you guys uh, need to buy any parts, tools, anything like that, we'll share the links in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all that from for a really good price and quick shipping as well. Another thing, every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos and specifically guys on this Hyundai Sonata we'll have more than 300 videos, mechanical videos videos that will be uploaded on the channel you're watching right now and we'll have more than 200 electrical videos about diagnostics fixing electrical components and that will be posted on our second channel electrical car repair live check it out guys everything okay will be shared so we can guys save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so this specific guys it's a 2013 Hyundai Sonata so uh, what do we see guys quite often okay we're going to start here now Okay, on that Hyundai Sonata, I'm going to uh, I'm to go going to go inside, plug the computer in, show you which computer we use, and I'll explain. Okay, we're going to scan the system while it's uh, loading. I'll explain uh, the top three things that can trigger that. So, uh, this is uh, okay. This is the computer right here. Let me just go ahead, turn it on, quick, and we're going to find the OBD port, which is under the dash usually on your Hyundai vehicle and just plug it in okay perfect just like that so now while it's loading guys okay i don't want to start this car now because we're in the garage but i'll just turn the ignition on and you can see that abs eps traction light they just stay on guys and you wonder why okay simply to the fact that we have problem in the system guys they never go away even brake light can stay on so let's explain what can cause that now this is guys okay the computer that we're using right here that thing can pay itself off in practically one time use we'll definitely guys okay recommend it it's an amazing computer we'll put the link in the description of the video below it works on almost any car you can think of you can access every computer system in your car and on that hand this another it has 17 of them we will show you you can access each one of them which makes it super convenient so we'll just clean how to detect for the VIN number you can see you have multiple pages of vehicles that it supports it's amazing too that's the VIN number we confirm then we're waiting a little bit that's your voltage 11.68 it's a little bit low so when you do diagnostics you might need to even have the battery charger on 2012 and this and if you go to control unit guys okay right here electronic stability program okay right here you can see it says uh, yeah. electronic stability control you click on this one okay and you can actually read codes and see what's wrong but we're going to explain the top three things uh, in a little bit but in some cases it could be even a low battery voltage that can trigger a light in the past it says it history but it says active right here and it says wheel speed sensor front right open short that means that we have problems with the speed sensor which is known as abs sensor as well guys on uh on vehicles you have four of them and this one will tell you which one is bad but what else okay can cause to be bad guys we'll go to live data that's where things get interesting now let me show you something specific here under live data you can check guys okay you can check the uh, wheel sensors speed for each of the wheels and you can test them if they're working but another thing guys okay you can check let me just see where it is you can check the steering angle sensor steering angle sensor guys that is not calibrated can easily guys okay trigger the lights on why because let's say you did a you replaced a part on the suspension or you hit a pothole you bent something or the alignment is not correct on your vehicle the steering wheel is a little bit sideways that will actually trigger traction control light because it will detect that the car is not uh, actually going straight so you will need to calibrate your 
Okay, you will need to calibrate your um, your steering angle sensor, which is not too complicated. We have a special video that explains how to calibrate steering angle sensor. You can test the sensor simply. Okay, right here it says now negative four degrees. Okay, check it out, negative four. If I get it about okay about uh, about even at four at zero degrees, okay, you can see our steering wheel should be straight. Okay, now if I go about you can see 90 degrees, okay, it will be like that, and the sensor says 90 degrees. It says negative 90 because I'm going to the right, if I go to the left it should say positive 90. So, okay, you can see it right there, 88, 90. So, you get the idea guys, you can test the sensor simply like that, but if you want to see how to, uh, how to actually calibrate it, the special video is on our channel. So, top three things guys, okay, let me get out and show you the, uh, the, the, actually the sensor for the steering wheel is integrated, okay, in the steering cone, we have a special video that explains how to remove it and replace it, it could be just a sensor that's not calibrated, it could be a bad, uh, bad steering angle sensor or it could be a bad ABS wheel sensor guys, okay, and that's what it looks like, we have a special video that explains how to remove and replace it, this is the ABS sensor we can see right here and it will be attached right here to the hub. So if you want to see how to test those, how to actually guys uh, uh, find out how to replace them, we have it on the channel. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.